Hi everyone. Imagine I have a bunch of elements on a page and they can be disabled. So this could be buttons, could be input elements. So you can see the disabled buttons are right here, second and third. How would you find them? Let's say I'm asking you to only get the enabled buttons and confirm there are four of them. The trick here is to get the button element and then combine button selector with a jQuery pseudo selector enabled. And you can say should have length four. All right, so that's easy. And you can imagine that there is a jQuery disabled selector and we have two buttons that are disabled. Now, I definitely like hovering over querying command and to make sure that the right buttons are selected when I use this. What if I ask you to get all the buttons? So in this case, you know, it's just I get button and there are six of them. And I would like to know in order which ones are enabled and which ones are disabled. Well, in this case, you get a jQuery object. So then you probably can take this you know, jQuery element object and get the enable status from each button. Now it's a little bit tricky because you have to convert this element into array and then you map it and you get an actual element, not jQuery object, but an element, a DOM element on a page. And if you want to use the same, you know, column enabled, well, we need to get jQuery, but bundled with Cypress. Wrap that DOM element again and use jQuery is enabled property. Okay, so this would yield an array and we can console log it just to see if we're getting the right thing. Okay, so true, false, false, true, true, true. And we can confirm this with, you know, expected value. So true, false, false, true, true, true. So whenever we yield should deep equal expected values. Okay, so that's great, but this is quite hairy expression, don't you think? I mean, we're getting a jQuery, converting an array, mapping each element by wrapping into jQuery again, and then getting the property. You don't need to use jQuery in this case, because if you have an element in HTML, an element has a disabled property, and all we have to do is just ask it. And we have to invert it because we're interested in enabled right status true false false true 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 okay if you are a user of my cypress map plugin and you should be because it's awesome if you're using cypress version 12 it's absolutely you know a toolbox because in this case if the status of the buttons change to what you expect it to be this will not be retried because say then breaks because it's not a querying command that retries Say get retries, but by introducing say then between say get and say should, you break the chain. So it won't see the new button status. So in this case, what you can do is the following. Notice right here we're mapping over each element and we're getting its disabled property. So Cypress map has map query, and all you can specify is just a property. Okay, and this fails and to see why, let me just print it. So the print command comes from Cypress map as well. Doesn't change the arguments, just yields the same value. So it's query safe. So disabled and the place holder. So it puts the subject there. So notice it retries to false, true, true. So we're getting the inverse of what we want to do. No worries, we need to map each Boolean value through something that just inverts or negates the value. And now it's correct. And all these commands are retriable. So if assertion doesn't pass, then those elements will be tried. And here's how I can demonstrate this. Imagine we remove the first disabled. So notice it retries, retries, retries. And right now it will fail. But let's say that our application is fetching the status of a second button. So we can say document query let's get element by id and second so i'll add an id 
and I'm going to add a timeout of, let's say, two seconds. So after two seconds, we'll say disabled equals true. Let's see if this is the way to do it. Perfect. Notice it retries, retries, the button is disabled and then immediately succeeds. So the whole chain of SciGet, Map, SciPrint, SciMap again is retried and retried and retried until it either times out or the assertion passes. So this is how you would check if a button is enabled or disabled.